Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge and today in this video I'm going to be doing the unboxing and I'll be giving my first impressions of the LG G8 X. Thank you. As you guys know, I just purchased this product from the Flipkart's Big Billion Days for around 21,900 rupees and it is also coming with this dual screen case. It has this Meridian Audio and DTS X branding that has been mentioned inside the box and this is the dual screen case box that is present inside. And we also get the instruction manual the phone the earphones and there is no charger inside the box when we just tear open the seal and let me just go into the box package and we get this soft microfiber based cloth which is very important because the material of this phone is extremely glossy and is a fingerprint magnet this is the phone itself it is black in color and it also comes with a case which is a plastic case and probably the worst quality case that you can ever get inside a phone box so i would never recommend you to use this case we also get the warranty information guide the sim ejector to you and quick start guide and many other things this is the usb type c cable and also we have the earphones which is braided quality earphones with a pair of ear tips we also have this phone let me open these uh, things that is the sticker and other things that is present there are a lot of stickers that is present by the way on the phone straight away let me go into booting of the smartphone there is the power on and off button on the right side and let me long press it and let me see whether there is some juice that is present yes that is having the lg g8 x thing branding that is mentioned it comes with android 10 out of the box and it is running on the lg ux and this smartphone is a qualcomm snapdragon 855 based smartphone 6 gb ram and 128 gb of uh, internal storage this is the dual screen accessory guys which is the dual screen case it has a leather type material but it is actually plastic and also uh, we have the poco pin based charger which is the magnetic charger that is present or, or embedded inside this uh, uh, case we'll have to remove that and uh, we'll have to keep that separately this is the poco pin based charger uh, for you to charge the phone along with the case attached this case also has a small screen which is an oled display a monochrome oled display and an oled display which is a 6.4 inch display on the left side this is the charger which actually connects via magnets now let me go ahead and set up this smartphone guys and the setup process is pretty much simple and is just like usual uh, setup process of any other android smartphone this phone is a proper full-fledged flagship with flagship grade features such as ip68 dust and water resistant military grade standard 810g protection and many other things as such and now let's go ahead and check out the dual screen access so this is the dual screen case guys we'll have to open this like this and there is a usb type c port that is present on the right side and we'll have to just plug this phone into the usb type c port and just click this like this and there is a click sound that comes up and we have this button that is present on the screen which tells turn on dual screen and it will ask for firmware update for the first time and once it is done it is set up successfully as you can see the dual screen is in its complete glory this is actually an engineering marvel guys it has a screen of 6.4 inches oled display on the left side and another 6.4 inches oled display on the right side and both the colors are calibrated to the same levels so that means you will not see a difference between the left display and the right display there is a large hinge which is basically a 360 degree hinge that is present inside the middle so if you want to use any app in full view mode you will get a hinge in the middle so which will be an intrusion kind of but if you want to multitask on it it is just like next level multitasking you can use um, facebook on left side instagram other side twitter on left side uh, youtube on other side music on one side you can text on other side and do what not the amount of possibilities that this dual screen offers is just infinite i've been just drooling over these features over the last couple of days and i'm just blown away this smartphone is a true head turner guys a lot of my buddies who use this phone to just check out the features were just in awe with the features that is offered by this phone the screen on the left and the screen on the right just offers immense amount of capabilities that you can do there is an app called wide view for lg that you can download from the google play store with the help of which you can force to use any application on both the screens which is also a cool feature in my opinion the about demonstration is also how you can use the 
two screens for one single application and you can do this as well we will bring a dedicated video explaining about the tips and tricks that you can do with the dual screen of this lg g8x thank you and the most important thing the usp of the smartphone is the dual screen case itself so as you guys can see this is my lg g8x thank you and i have been using this smartphone for quite some time now guys and i have set up everything in detail and in the first part of this video as you can see i just showed the unboxing of this product and a few things about this case and since uh, then i actually took a couple of days to uh, just set up this product and uh, you know just dig around the things that is present and didn't just rush to uh, make the video video about it. I just wanted to explore this product in detail so that I could give a complete overview about my experience in this first video. So as you can see this also has this uh, uh, display that is the first display on the device. So by using this dual screen case uh, you will get this first display that is present over here and we also have this uh, uh, pogo pin type charger and the USB type C uh, port which is inside this and we have a headphone jack the speaker by the way this is a dual speaker setup guys and one important thing is uh, this is actually protected by the Corning's Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and the Gorilla Glass 5 on the back and as you guys already know that you can you even uh, you know remove this uh, phone from this case and uh, use it just like a normal phone just like that it will come out of the case and you, you can use it like a normal phone and yes it has a glossy back and is a fingerprint magnet just you can see so this is a pretty handy phone guys it is a 6.4 inch uh, old OLED display uh, you know LG calls it as a G OLED display which is their version of the OLED display basically it is a glass organic light emitting diode based display the quality of materials that is used is incredible so it is a Gorilla Glass 6 and Gorilla Glass 5 based production and we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a 12 megapixel normal camera on the rear and a 32 megapixel camera on the front it supports 4k video recording on all the uh, cameras guys it has 4k 60 fps on the uh, rear 2 and 4k 30 fps on the front and also we have the usb type c port uh, the stereo speaker setup is present over here and the headphone jack is present over here and the microphone is also present on two different positions uh, so that it will allow you for asmr based uh, recording as well it also has an asmr based recording uh, so this is the power button that is present on the right side uh, we have the google assistant button that is present on the left side which is a dedicated assistant button which is pretty good and pretty convenient normal volume up and volume down button is also present on the left side uh, in terms of build quality this is a fantastic build quality device guys by the way this phone also has military grade standard 810g based certification for drop and shock protection ip68 water resistance is also present and also we have the wireless charger that is present on the back and also since it is an oled display it has this uh, uh, aod that is the always on display that is present over here which is fantastic guys and also in display fingerprint scanner is also present over here the in display ping fingerprint scanner i don't say that it is one of the fastest or something it is pretty slow uh, for my preference because uh, the in display fingerprint scanner is an optical scanner and not uh, ultrasonic scanner or something but this animation is pretty cool guys uh, as you can see this animation is very nice and the scanner is okay it's there so the usual things are present over here in the settings guys we have the uh, you know internet the wi-fi and everything yes it has two, two gigahertz band and also the five gigahertz uh, band support that is present a dual 4g a dual volt is also present we have the feature of nfc also is present guys android beam and nfc is both present bluetooth 5.0 is present and by the way this is a snapdragon 855 based device it is a 6 gb ram and 128 gb of ufs 2.1 storage usual ringtones and sound profiles are present let me check a ringtone that is present on lg So if you want to uh, you know have a ringtone for one person and another ringtone for another person that particular feature is also present over here and also there are uh, ring with vibration option is present and many other option is present over here when we come to sound quality there is something called as equalizer DTS surround sound and in equalizer also you can uh, uh, you know uh, adjust the volumes and the quality of sound output that you actually need so since this phone has a, a headphone jack when you plug in earphones you can actually activate the hi-fi quiet DAC 
which will help you to enhance the quality of sound that you get out of the headphones next coming over to display guys there is a lot of different options like home screen settings uh, what are the different settings that you want to choose on the home screen if you want to have a breeze effect for the animations on the home screen and what you want to have on the left side of the home screen uh, uh, the different types of grid sizes that is present for example if you want to choose the uh, app drawer based home screen you can choose that if you want to have a normal home screen like MIUI or something or an iOS something that is also possible for example I have chosen app drawer kind of uh, because I like the app drawer we have the always on display as you can see when we go to always on display there are several different types of customization options that is present for always on display and we have the night mode guys if I turn off the night mode it is basically white color theme will be present but uh, since I'm a fan of uh, dark mode I just keep night mode all the time uh, on this uh, phone it is not called as dark mode uh, for some reason it is called as night mode on this smartphone there is a feature called video enhancement where you can actually enhance the quality of videos you can set the brightness to automatic by just using the notification bar like this if you set it to automatic as you can see based on the uh, surroundings it will adjust the brightness of the screen automatically and another important feature that I felt is about the screen color if you want to set the screen color uh, you can even set the screen color and also there is the screen color temperature that is present you can set the color temperature of the screen based on your preference to like warmer or cooler and also there is a mode of a screen you can set it to auto cinema sports game photos web etc and also there is an option to set it based on the expert and in the expert I've increased the sharpness of the screen a little bit and hue and saturation are present in the mid levels if you want to increase it more you can do that too when we go to the system and when we go to about phone one important thing that we will notice is that this phone is running on Android 10 as you can see it is running on Android 10 and the latest security patch that is available is September 10th and as per LG the uh, Android 11 update for this phone should be available sometime in the first half of 2021 and since a lot of uh, people have purchased this smartphone in the recently held sale on Flipkart I'm damn sure that they'll be working hard towards uh, uh, providing the updates so when we go to storage this phone comes with 128 GB out of the box and around uh, 110 115 GB was free but since I've installed a lot of apps and something uh, it is showing uh, 98 GB is free let's now dive into the camera part guys this has a 32 megapixel camera on the front and 12 and 13 on the back and 13 is an ultra wide angle camera 12 is the normal camera and when we talk about the features of this uh, camera application which is it's just jam-packed with features guys it is fantastic it has the photo mode portrait mode studio mode it has the video mode it records in 4k there is manual camera and there is a lot more I don't uh, want to just uh, elaborate this video into a huge video I'll just show you guys a quick uh, camera samples about how is the quality of the photos that comes out of the LG G8X thank you I just wanna be happy. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always clicking that the dual screen will turn on guys uh, you as you guys might be already knowing it has a screen on the front for uh, getting some quick information and there is the screen on the left and right as well there is this 360 degree hinge which is possible and if you want to just use this screen that is also possible if you want to use dual screen that is also possible and you can keep it in any different orientation guys as you can see it has uh, you know all the 360 degrees of uh, orientation is possible if you want to watch a YouTube video over here and uh, you know browse on Google Chrome
Chrome over here that is possible too. As you can see, I'm browsing on Wikipedia here and I'm just watching a YouTube video over there, which is uh, uh, possible. It is actually a fantastic feature, guys. It is a multitasking beast in my opinion. So the, the possibilities in terms of this, uh, uh, you know, dual screen is just endless. It has a lot of features, guys. Uh, I just need a, another video to just show you guys what are the different types of possibilities or use cases that you can just use uh, these screens to and the use cases is also just just infinite and also there is an app called wide view for uh, LG with the help of which uh, I was able to actually get uh, a complete wide view experience on uh, you know uh, on any application that I'm using for example I'm, I'm using Google News like this and I just want to I have just installed that app called wide view and I can just uh, read Google News just by having that large hinge in the middle so next let's talk about the battery of this smartphone guys it has a 4000 mAh battery as you guys just know it'll just last you for a day or if you're using dual screen and you're a sort of a heavy user it'll not even last you for a day so that is what uh, i would like to say because i've been using it from last two days and battery life is pretty ordinary and charging speed is also ordinary guys it doesn't come with a charger inside the box as i showed highest charging speed that it supports is 21 watt by the way so this is the pogo pin based uh, uh, you know charger that they have provided guys this is having this magnetic uh, uh, connection and i have just plugged in this usb type c to here and if i want to charge i can just do this and the phone has started charging so that is a pretty convenient thing and and it starts charging next let's talk about the speakers on this smartphone the speaker quality is also fantastic it is a stereo speaker system And also there is an option called uh, DTSX guys as you can see there is an option called DTSX 3D surround sound and you can uh, get even better quality uh, sound output from these speakers with that option turned on. Uh, next thing is you can use this dual screen as a gamepad and all as you guys already know about that you can use it as a gamepad to play uh, games on uh, one side as a controller and to view the game on the other side uh, that is also possible. Uh, that's it guys that's it for this very quick video about the unboxing and first impressions and my first experience of using this LG G8 X thank you it is an actually a fantastic device in terms of uh, innovation guys uh, people's minds will be just blown by uh, how great is this uh, uh, you know quality of this uh, uh, smartphone uh, how they have uh, made this package available for just around 20,000 it is just unbelievable it is just an unbelievable smartphone it is uh, it, it's an in engineering marvel I would like to say hardware wise this is just unmatched you can never get anything close to this smartphone in terms of hardware capacity that's it for this detailed video uh, of my unboxing and impressions of the lg g8x think and if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content ahead thank you for watching guys